You know, Matt, uh, let's talk about this one because this is headed to a museum mm -hmm. up in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, tell me just a, a quick run over about this. Okay. Uh, this is actually a 1964 USMCM 38A1. Okay. This was a contract Jeep. Uh, a lot of the Jeeps, uh, a lot of these in this area were released out of Albany to the civil defense units. And since nobody ever restored civil defense Jeeps, and I like weird stuff, is civil defense Jeep. I'll be done. We'll put it back to its former life. Um, and this is more or less a realistic restoration. I mean, we don't go around and knock all the dents out, and I mean, it's still got flaking paint and all that on it. But when a civil defense unit got a wore out Marine Corps Jeep, they were like that to begin with. So it's, it's very realistic. I mean, it still has the holes where the rectifier went for the radio or the, the xenon searchlight. Uh, we just basically left, left it beat up just like the civil defense would have got it. So it's not over restored. I mean, there's like overspray. Yeah. I mean, you got to remember, these guys weren't worried about it. Nope. It was used for rescues. Exactly. And so we're trying to put it back as realistically as we can. Well, see, I'm probably and, uh, dating myself. <laughs> but I still remember back in the 60s when they were rotating out the civil defense in those big tins with them biscuits oh, yeah. that they put down. Those. Yeah, okay. I, I, I remember those. All right, let's walk over here because you've got a, 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 a project in progress here. Tell right. us about this one real quick. Uh, this is a WC21. Uh, is that right? 20. Yes. Command I get car. My, I get my numbers all mixed up. It's, <laughs> it's a it's a WC21 command car. It's a uh, it's actually a European bring back. It was in uh, Denmark. It was in England during the Second World War. And since the half tons were too light for combat, according to the Army, it never really went into mainland Europe until after the war. Uh, it was brought back uh, through Savannah. It was purchased uh, by a, uh, a surplus dealer. And basically stuck in a uh, stuck in his barn uh, or shed for for years. And uh, when he died, uh, we bought it off the estate and um, started building it. And uh, well, this color, this is kind of unique. Tell folks yeah. because they're going to think, it, well, that's not the. Everybody man. thinks it's primer. It's not. No, yeah. this is this is actually. Oh, it's ugly. I know it's ugly, but this this is called pre-war. Olive drab. It's and a lot of people say, well, "Hey, you you picked it before it was right." But no, that's that's what this vehicle, that's what the original color was. Well, um, and also over here, of course, this is this that's is the the body. That's the it. body still in the Danish blue. Wow. Um, and we got the scratching on it uh, to find the original color, and there it is. Wow. That's the original the uh, the pre-war green under under all the other different colors of olive drab. Now, um, now, how long, just roughly, will you and your guys work? Will it take to work to get this thing back in museum shape? Oh wow! Um, Year or two? Yeah, it's going to take. Uh, we're not. I don't normally work on Dodges. This, I like weird stuff, and the weird stuff usually takes a whole lot longer to restore than just a Jeep. <laughs> a Jeep, ah, that's easy. I got you. But but when it comes to Dodge that I'm not real familiar with, it's all it's a learning curve. I, I'm learning all about this, and, oh, wow. and it's it's. I think the fun part's just learning about them.